India is all set to take over the G20 presidency and Vyond Sidhan Sibyl spoke to Minakshi Lekhi, the Minister of State for Culture of India, to discuss India's focus and what all India has to showcase. Listen in. With me is uh, India's Minister of State in the Ministry of External Affairs, uh, Madam Milakshi Lekhi. Ma'am, welcome to Vyond. My first question to you, and an obvious question, is about India's G20 presidency. We take over the presidency on 1st of December. What will be the focus like for India, and how India can use this platform to showcase to the world that India has arrived? First, congratulations to all India for getting into the chair of presidency of G20. G20 nations are a group of nations which control more than 80% of world economy. So obviously it's about commerce, trade and other such related issues. But it is also about showcasing India's capability both in technical terms and technological advancement in addition to the fact that we are a cultural hub and we are an ancient civilization. So mix of the two aspects of uh, Indian ethos value system along with the modern technology. And we have showcased to the world in recent times, especially seven, eight years, have been very, very important in our growth story that uh, India is second to none in either of the two platforms. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what uh, Indian presidency is going to be all about. Uh, we are about finding solutions, and uh, we are usually part of the solution and not part of the problem. Mm -hmm. And thus we will showcase uh, this power of India that if we say Vasudev Kutumbakam that world is one big family, mm -hmm. then family needs to grow together, help each other, work together. Uh, for the betterment of humanity. Mm -hmm. uh, Ma'am, but we are also inheriting a problem which is the divide between West and Russia. How will India bridge that gap, uh, gap in terms of bringing together uh, the West and uh, the Russians? Do you expect the Russian President Vladimir Putin to visit India uh, during the G20 presidency summit that takes place in September of next year? Uh, I hope uh, so, uh, for the simple reason that India is uh, a country of uh, the south as much as it is of the north. India is a country of the east as much as it is of the west. So you can see all the elements in India and we definitely are a bridge between the two uh, thoughts which divide the world, but uh, we can showcase to the world that how connectivity and uh, standing by each other and seeing the issues as they stand mm -hmm. Uh, would help in arriving at a solution mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. My last question to you is, uh, do you see China as a worry because the relationship hasn't been doing well with China? China is a member of the G20 uh, grouping. How do you see uh, the presence of the Chinese when it comes to the G20 summit here in India? And if you have any views about the ongoing protest in China? Uh, no views. Uh, uh, those are uh, for the world to see and those are for the country to control within. And uh, I would only say that uh, no country in the world uh, can uh, be an island by itself. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to have greater interaction, a greater working methodology. And if uh, the behaviors and uh, uh, conduct needs to be altered, keeping in view the uh, worldview, uh, that should happen with everyone. Mm -hmm. One additional question, how much climate change and counter-terror will be issue when it comes to India's G20 presidency? So both need a deeper understanding on part of many countries because we feel if the world really needs to benefit, the countries and their efforts need to come together. On climate change, for example, and there that's where I link my culture and my value system uh, to what has happened in the world. Uh, and that is uh, Prime Minister has also uh, uh, brought a principle forward and that is life. The program for life is living for environment, which has various implications, responsible consumption being one, using technology being the other. And the way India has showcased itself and it has upped its work towards uh, not just uh, uh, being self-reliant on energy aspect in as much as possible ways, but a recycling economy. Uh, working with solar grid, uh, offering to work on renewable energy. So there are various patterns on which uh, India has worked, including biofuel uh, and so on and so forth. 
So I think countries need to look at the effort which India has uh, amped up. Uh, while we have a very large population, 1.3 billion and above, and uh, 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 considering that we are still being a developing country, uh, we our carbon footprints are still low as compared to other countries which have lower population and greater consumption patterns. So I think world needs to understand the subject matter uh, deeply and uh, exposure to India will help them uh, achieve uh, better understanding and addressing the issues the way uh, issues should be addressed. Second aspect which you asked me uh, was on counter-terrorism. On counter-terrorism also I definitely believe and feel that uh, the world needs to have a view and uh, duplicitous uh, points of views uh, will not work and will not do well uh, in handling uh, challenges which are not just a challenge to India, but that particular thought and methodology is a challenge to the world, mm -hmm. a, a, to, to every country in as many words as one can think of. And each country at various levels of time have uh, uh, faced it. So, uh, uh, you know, creating Frankensteins and thinking they will only impact others and not them. Uh, that's a wrong way of looking at and we have seen it in the past mm -hmm. that uh, we do not want history to repeat itself mm -hmm. where uh, major countries of the world faced uh, these challenges. So counter-terrorism needs to be handled holistically mm -hmm. and G20 would be a great platform in uh, developing worldview on these uh, deeper subjects uh, which need to uh, understand and not deal with the subject superficially or uh, uh, opportunistically. It has to be handled and handled well. Mm -hmm. well thank you so much, ma'am, for speaking to Vion. Thank, thank you, you very much.